Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is basic cellular system. It is from the subject cellular networks for third year ENTC students. Now, this point uh, of this cellular network is prime important as far as theory as well as oral point of view is uh, considered because I am going to cover the basic things which are required for the cellular communication that is for the mobile communication. Now, uh, before this cellular network, nowadays, presently, we are making use of a cellular network. Uh, before this, we were using a large tower for a large area. Means for, you can say like this, for entire city, a single tower was in use. So, let us say this is a tower and on the tall tower, one antenna uh, was used, which was capable of covering the entire region. That was the earlier technology. This is called base station and this particular antenna is base station antenna. This is the large service area but there were few drawbacks. What were the drawbacks? First drawback was no frequency reuse. Now frequency reuse ka matlab kya hai? Uh, detail mein ye, uh, learn karne wale. Frequency reuse matlab alag alag frequency ke spectrum hote. What, what's the meaning of word spectrum? Spectrum matlab jo available frequency band hai. वो अलग अलग चैनल्स को अलोकेट करते हैं दिस इज कॉल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी स्पेक्ट्रम तो एक बार एक चैनल को स्पेक्ट्रम एक मतलब एक फ्रीक्वेंसी बैंड अलोकेट किया यू कैन नॉट यू वर नॉट इन अ पोजीशन टू री रीयूज इट सो देयर वाज नो फ्रीक्वेंसी रीयूज जैसे मैंने बताया हम लोग बाद में डिटेल में लर्न करने वाले हैं एंड सेकंड मेजर ड्रॉबैक वाज नो प्रॉपर स्पेक्ट्रम अलोकेशन विद इंक्रीजिंग डिमांड जैसे पहले ये प्रॉब्लम्स आते थे जैसे सेलुलर यूजर्स बढ़ जाते थे तो देयर वाज अ नेटवर्क कंजक्शन प्रॉब्लम सो इट वाज नॉट पॉसिबल टू असाइन टू अलोकेट अ प्रॉपर स्पेक्ट्रम एज फार एज दिस इंक्रीजिंग डिमांड ऑफ सेलफोन यूजर्स वाज कंसर्न सो दीस वर द ड्रॉबैक्स ये ड्रॉबैक अवॉइड करने के लिए दिस सेलुलर नेटवर्क कांसेप्ट वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड व्हिच वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड विदाउट मेकिंग अ मेजर चेंजेस इन द टेक्नोलॉजी Nowadays we know that mm, we can use any uh, mobile uh, or of any manufacturer and that mobile will work in any area. Now see, a large area cover karta tha, pehle a single antenna. Instead of that, some hexagonal type of structures are designed, structures are used. Each hexagonal structure is called as cell and each cell covers a small geographical area jaise pehle ek pura ek antenna pure city ko cover karta tha waise ek city one city is divided into different smaller portions har ek uh, for every small portion one type of structure having hexagonal shape is used is designed that structure is called a cell at the center of the cell uh, even uh, you can say at the edge or at the center of the cell base station is used this base station is responsible for transmitting the signals to the mobile users to ye structures use kar rahe now what are the advantages of hum log ye detail mein learn karne wale what is this cell and how it works and all that presently is stage pe aisa sirf yaad rakh lo cell matlab ek particular area ko cover karega instead of covering the entire city and every cell has base station either at the center or at the edge that depends on uh, again different criteria so har ek cell alag alag area cover kar raha hai important advantage is that we can make use of or we can reuse the frequency spectrum jaise ye to adjacent cells hai so we can allocate different frequency bands but the frequency bands frequency spectrum can be reused so first is improved we are talking about advantages first is improved user capacity second no major technology changes third no spectral conjunction conjunction matlab jaise frequency spectrum we say like this ki there is a network coverage uh, um, problem so that is the network conjunction so that is the spectral conjunction so we are going to study it in detail ki frequency reuse kaise karna hai spectral conjunction kaise avoid karna hai and fourth major advantage is efficient frequency reuse jaise maine abhi abhi bataya same frequency can be reused again and again for different cell structures so that is the efficient frequency reuse 
next part is important terms or important definitions related to the cellular network or basic cellular system just now we discussed the basic concept ki ek particular uh, city hai suppose for example usko alag alag parts mein divide karenge for uh, to provide the uh, connectivity to each part each region of a particular city ek structure use karenge that is called cell and we discussed that the shape of cell is hexagonal at the center let us assume that at the center of each cell some uh, station is used that is called as a base station now first definition what's the meaning of base station jaise maine abhi abhi explain kiya base station is not moving jaise mobile word itself indicates it is moving so so it is changing with respect to time so base station is not moving because it is placed at one particular location so it is a fixed station which communicates with mobile stations abhi mobile stations kya hai mobile stations means for example if i am using handheld uh, mobile uh, phone device then that is acting as a mobile station or you can say like this if uh, uh, someone has an antenna which is receiving the signal which is uh, which is placed uh, uh, in case of a car then also it is acting as a mobile station so next definition is mobile station which is handheld uh, personal mobile units that's what i explained you just now next important term is msc mobile switching network or mtso mobile telephone switching office ye important term hai it is the center which is set up for coordinating the routing of calls routing uh, word is very important hum log ye baad mein detail mein learn karne wale hai presently एक बेसिक सेंटर है दैट इज एम एस सी विच इज एक्टिंग एज इंटरफेस बिटवीन डिफरेंट थिंग्स सो इट इज अंटर विच इज सेट अप फॉर कॉर्डिनेटिंग मतलब कॉल राउट कैसे करने हैं सो टू कॉर्डिनेट ऑल दीज एक्शन एम एस सी इज यूज नेक्स्ट इज फॉरवर्ड चैनल एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स सी मोबाइल इज यूज एवरी वन नोज इट इज यूज फॉर टू वे कम्युनिकेशन ट्रांसमीटर ट्रांसमिटिंग एज वेल एज इट कैन बी यूज एज रिसिविंग सो forward channel is transmission from base station to mobile station bahut simple concept se base station ek fixed station hai you can say a fixed antenna at one particular location in the city mobile station matlab hamare hath mein jo phone hai jo cell phone hai that is a mobile station so if the transmission is from base station to mobile station then it is called forward channel next is river channel is a exact opposite because just now i explained you it is a by way two directional communication so if it is a transmission of signals from mobile station to base station it is a reverse channel next is control channel we know that uh, different controlling signals are required for example to set up a call then uh, for making a call request then for call initiation so all for Uh, to perform all these actions we need a separate channel so that is a control channel next is hand off mechanism ye bhi hum log pure detail mein discuss karne wale presently hand off mechanism matlab kya jaise we know that just now i i have explained you uh, concept in very simplified language ki hum log is type ke structure choose karenge so in one particular city there are n number of such cells are used and each cell consists of base station you can simply say each cell consists of a transmitting uh, uh, station ab if a person is moving from one base station uh, from one cell to another cell matlab if the person is changing the area then without our knowledge the communication continues jaise hum log mobile pe baat kar rahe hain aur ek area se dusre area mein matlab ek cell area jo hai wo cross karke dusre area mein enter kare to switching hona chahiye so that is uh, without the knowledge of the user so isko bolte hain hand off mechanism so it is the process of transferring the connection from one base station to another jaise ek cell jaise ye a hai ये बी है ए से बी तक हम लोग जब मूव करने वाले सो कॉल शुड बी ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर बेस स्टेशन ऑफ फॉर ए सेल ए टू द बेस स्टेशन ऑफ सेल बी दैट इज कॉल्ड हैंड ऑफ मैकेनिज्म नेक्स्ट इज पेज इफ द मैसेज इज ब्रॉडकास्टेड ओवर एंटायर फॉर द कंप्लीट सर्विस एरिया दैट इज रेफर्ड एज पेज एंड अ कॉमन नोन वर्ड दैट इज अ सब्सक्राइबर दैट इज अ यूजर व्हिच इज यूजिंग अ पर्टिकुलर सेलुलर नेटवर्क सर्विस सो दीज आर द फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशंस और टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू बेसिक सेलुलर सिस्टम 
नेक्स्ट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ बेसिक सेल्युलर सिस्टम दिस इज द ब्लॉक डायग्राम सिंप्लीफाइड ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ बेसिक सेल्युलर सिस्टम दिस ब्लॉक इज पब्लिक स्विच टेलीफोन नेटवर्क पी एस टी एन एक्चुअली इट इज एक्टिंग एज इंटरफेस बिटवीन एम एस सी दैट इज मोबाइल स्विचिंग सेंटर और एम टी एस ओ दैट इज मोबाइल टेलीफोन switching office so it is the interface between landline connection and mt also we know that uh, in case of a mobile we can make a call from mobile to another mobile or we can make a call uh, from landline to mobile and mobile to landline it is possible because of this interface so it is provided by public switched telephone network next very important block is msc or mtso we have discussed the concept of a cell it is having hexagonal uh, structure and at the center of each cell a base station is uh, existing all the base stations are connected to msc or mtso this block is responsible for controlling the calls then uh, uh, maintaining the billing information checking the call duration and so on apart from that one important parameter is apc that is automatic power control Uh, suppose this is the mobile user we know that mobile user is moving so every time the power at the uh, mobile user is checked and it is uh, monitored if the power is less then it is boosted to the larger power all these algorithms are there uh, in case of msc or mtso then every time whenever mobile user is changing i mean when whenever mobile user is moving then it is um changing the position from one cell to the another cell in that case without the knowledge of user the connection is maintained whenever there is a switch there is a change or mobile uh, user is moving from one cell structure to another cell structure this is again monitored by msc or mtso another parameter or another important consideration for this block is it makes use of high frequency so frequency reuse concept is possible that means same frequency uh, channels can be allocated to different cells so this is the frequency reuse concept and there won't be any interface or there won't be any mixing of signal so all these important activities are monitored by msc or mtso and it is connected to pstn now we discussed that this base station is again connected to msc or mtso so this is two way communication that means base station uh, sends the information to mtso as well as mtso again sends the information to the base station and then this base station is again communicated with the mobile user so base station is acting as interface between this mobile and mtso next part is what is the meaning of cell uh, or why the hexagonal shape for the cell structure is preferred basically there is one parameter uh, which we call it as network coverage area we know that if you are moving away from the base station we say the signal is getting weak matlab hum log bolte hai ki coverage kam hai yahan pe network coverage kam hai so as i said if you are moving away from the base station coverage area decreases or we say uh, uh, you are getting a less uh, strength of signal so there is one term related to this it is called footprints it is actual radio coverage area it is called as footprint now there is one reference term which is known as x db agar aapka signal aapke mobile ka signal strength x db hai in particular area then we will say that particular mobile unit is in the coverage area x ek reference hai jisko bolte hai threshold level so if the strength is uh, above or equal to x db we say the cell device cell phone device is in the coverage area agar isse kam hai so that is out of coverage area now if we use we say ki cellular structure is always simple matlab hum log aisa bolenge ki cell structure taiyar karna hai jo pure ek particular region ko cover karega aise bahut sare cell structures hum log use karenge to cover the entire city so why can't we use a circular uh, cell structure jaise maine abhi bhi bataya ek term hai footprint that represents actual radio coverage area matlab hum logon ne agar assume kiya ki ek cell hai wo hum circular area consider karenge matlab we will say like this Uh, one circular area let us say of 10 km square 
विल बी कवर्ड बाय वन सर्कल जिसको बोलेंगे एक्सेल एट द सेंटर इट इज है बेस स्टेशन लेकिन हम लोग अगर फुटप्रिंट कैलकुलेट करेंगे फुटप्रिंट मतलब एक्चुअल कवरेज एरिया ऑफ ईच सेल तो सर्कुलर के केस में अगर फुटप्रिंट कैलकुलेट करेंगे ये कैसे कैलकुलेट करना है यू कैन कैलकुलेट इट यूजिंग प्रोपोगेशन मॉडल व्हिच यू हैव स्टडीड इन अर्लियर यूनिट्स सो ये प्रोपोगेशन मॉडल यूज करके अगर हम लोग फुटप्रिंट कैलकुलेट करेंगे मतलब एक्चुअल कवरेज एरिया कैलकुलेट करेंगे सो यू यू विल कम टू नो दैट इफ यू आर यूजिंग द सर्कुलर सेल्स देयर कैन बी ओवरलैपिंग or there can be gaps between two cells so if there is a gap there won't be any coverage area there won't be any coverage at all and there should not be any overlapping so to avoid this some other structures are used it can be a triangular matlab aap log triangular cell bhi use kar sakte ho or you can use a rectangular cell but compared to triangular or a rectangular cell हेक्सागोनल सेप्स आर प्रेफर्ड जैसे मैंने बताया इफ यू आर यूजिंग अ फुट प्रिंट इफ यू कैलकुलेट द फुट प्रिंट बाई कंसिडरिंग द हेक्सागोनल सेप देर विल नॉट बी एनी ओवरलैपिंग और देर विल नॉट बी एनी गैप्स बिटवीन द टू सेल्स सो दिस इज द एडवांटेज बिगेस्ट एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग द हेक्सागोनल सेल स्ट्रक्चर अदर एडवांटेज आर you if you are using hexagonal shape structure compared to triangular rectangular or circular uh, cases then analysis becomes easy and manageable there uh, just now explained there is no overlapping or gaps it closely approximates circular radiation pattern and fourth is requires less number of cells to cover the actual area so this is about the concept of cell structure and the shape which is hexagonal shape used uh, for the formation of a particular cell so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video